people, welcome to a showroom episode of No Rules. My name's Spets Gonzalez in the house. Blau's supposed to be here, thank God he's not. <laughs> Got Felix Kemp, GM Bond in the house with glasses on, don't know why. Uh, Tuko and my cousin my from cousin. another auntie who knows another auntie. Sprite. Vujanic, aka Sprite. How are you, bro? How are you, man? I'm blessed. You see that top you're wearing? Let me mm. just let you know now. Mm. Kids in Eton wore that when they played a sport called polo. It does look a bit polo-ish, doesn't it? It does, isn't it? But it's actually a volleyball red star top wow. converted into a football top, I think. Rude, when I was young, do you know how much I, found I loved it on Kappa? eBay. I loved I Kappa. It's the class. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you, remember, you know I got shirts for days. Vuge is the king of vintage shirts. Just shirts in general. Not just vintage porn. Vintage shirts. Like vintage porn is banging. Do you of remember course. when he used to come in the in the in the rapper? Not in the rapper. In the you know like the fake DVDs from mm-hmm. Kilburn High Road, mm-hmm. where the guy would put it on the road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah. Sometimes he's from <laughs> certain yeah. them countries. Yeah. Obviously, I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You can't, yeah, you you can't, can't say which country. You can't yeah, generalize. You can't generalize. Ooh, Southeast Asia, probably. Congolese. Mm-hmm. All right. Congolese. 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 <laughs> Congolese. Yep, that's right. And then he'd have a secret stash. <laughs> yeah. Like unwrap Go. it. Have you seen these? And it's just... I used to love that. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of like cling film thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to the camp. With a little printed... Yeah, 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 yeah. With a DVD in the back. Yeah. Yeah. I miss those days. I miss those days when like a um, Ghanaian guy will come up to me. Yeah. He's got super bag. Yeah. But all the DVDs are in there and he'll show you some DVDs best, and you're man. like, nah, I want the... Yeah. You just move your shoulder, he knows. <laughs> he opens up a zip <laughs> and there's another batch of Pam Landerson's just on the front cover and you know you get busy tonight. One of the first ones I watched mm. was like Balls Deep Six or something. Mm. Oh, yeah, it was good. Balls Deep Six, L.O. Cool J. But yeah, shots. Yeah. I had a friend back in the day who, who was one of the people who would sell them. He, was, he sold weed, he sold mm. Viagra mm. and he mm. sold bootleg DVDs. So mm. like at the end of, we'd be like in the studio working or whatever, then mm. he would come I around late days. at night <laughs> and he would he would be like, oh, well, let's watch a film. Or we'll put filming in the background. Uh, mm. He would eat cake and custard because he was very high. And, and so every now and then he would try and put some porn on. Um, and I've never been that guy that's like, <laughs> watch yeah, porn with watch Amanda. Porn yeah, with yeah. Amanda. Yeah. Never yeah. thought of Always that thought that's such a yeah, white yeah, boy yeah, move. Yeah, it's true, you know. Yeah. But I think it's a white, I think it's a nerdy move. Yeah. Because I remember like, obviously I went to school in London, innit? All my boys were from, we were international. But is it private school or? No, nah, bro. Okay. The first academy in the UK. Oh, academy is a big deal. When your school said academy, that bro, was a big but deal. it was the first one. Peters are working in all sorts. But you know when it's, <laughs> no, but you know when it's the first one, mm. it means your school was really shit. Is yeah. it? Because they chose no, your it school. Crisis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It chose, yeah. Yeah. the government said this one's so okay. bad. Because Ofsted, Ofsted came from Ofsted. No. Yep, yep. And they said, you know what? Instead, mm. we're going to make this <laughs> academy. <laughs> yeah. And then it was, it was good legacy. though. Tony Blair came through. All the Iraqi boys booed him, yeah. Is it was it? sick. Yeah, it was, it was sick. his legacy, Academy Schools. Yeah, Academy Schools and Iraq. Academy yeah. Schools and Iraq. Iraq. Yeah. Well, you know Tony Blair's from my area, right? Is it? He's, yeah, he's from uh, Mislin. Yeah. 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 He's a pagan. New Labour was formed mm. in a Mexican restaurant on Upper no Street. Way. Yeah, they're all, they're, all, they're all lizards anyway, but. Of course. What, oh, what are we talking about? We, I went off the tangent. Porn. Por- uh, sharing porn School. experiences with Amanda. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, but we did some weird things. I remember, yeah. like, I think you go through that phase when mm. you're like 13, 14, 15, and you're like, who, what am I? Mm. What do I get hard to? Mm. And you're interested in your yeah. boys' penises. Mm. You, know course, you yeah, wanna be like, let me see my boys. That's, that, that's, that's, and that's, you start comparing, you start measuring. I'd be like, oh, what's yours when you're, yeah. if you're hard, what's yours? I used to go proper in. No, but even now I look. If I, when I go, you look in it, I look I, in it. You know, when, when I go football, just have a little. And, 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 and you know, guys are talking to me. I think spit. that's just curious. How's it going? I just, you know, put the glasses down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they look, they can see me looking at. <laughs> yeah. But they can't tell me nothing because. <laughs> but there's nothing, I don't there's think. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you're just having a look. You're curious. It's you're a check. Human, you're a human being. It's a check. Again, you, you, you're, you're someone that used to look at your own pipe and say, you know what, when it stands up, Let's play. So you started shoulder shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I measured it with a ruler, the bendy one. Did you measure to tell yourself how big it is or you wanted to go and tell everyone else or? No, I just wanted to go check on Google what mm. the average was and mm. see where I fall in which category. And if it, if, it, if it wasn't like, if it was very small, do you mm. think that would have killed your confidence? Possibly. But it's I mean, bad, I, was, I, I ended, up, ended up being mm. all right, innit? Mm. But my boy had one, which was like a badger coming out of the hole. Mm. You, know the, <laughs> you know the thing where it's like- Is it? A mound of the mound. soil. You see when the soil was like that? <laughs> yeah. It was that. That Is was his it? thing. And I think, I don't know, I never saw it yeah. hard, but I reckon it just, <laughs> yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe it was sick, hiding. maybe it was sick. We all have penises and mm. I think we, should, we shouldn't be a taboo subject. Mm, mm, mm. You know, obviously don't, you know, I did some other weird things definitely, mm, mm. but that was my curiosity. And then, well, Craig had sex with pillows. Did he have sex with pillows? Yeah. Craig, you, he looks like he beat pillows. Yeah. yeah. Have you, Vooch? No, I haven't beat a pillow. That's, just, that's, that's too- Socks. 
You beat socks. Oh, you're yeah. a socks guy. I'm a socks guy. Yeah, this is the icon of socks. Yeah. Him so and that, Harry. So now it's I think small that's, socks, small that's sport socks, not the big ones. Oh, the ankle ones. Yeah, it's easier. It just wraps in and then bam, you, a... you beat the sock. Because you, you can't <laughs> obviously. You don't want your energy to go to like just mm. beating different women all the time. Mm. Not mm. beating because obviously you don't want to get cancelled. Yeah, of like, course. Sexual intercourse. Of course. And then boom, mm -hmm. I was like, right, I don't want to bash either. Mm. Just like into air. Mm. <laughs> I'm oh, so you're saying that. Impregnate I'm saying like, if you're saying that I'm into air. air. No, because if you're just mm. beating air, like, mm. so they're all swimming, like all these little things, like mm. all these little souls mm. that you're releasing. Souls. They think they're going somewhere. Mm. Trap mash. Mm. And then <laughs> they're going nowhere. It goes into yeah. air and they just fall into tissue. No, or no, you got, you got, you got, uh, you know when you jump off the sky in parachute? Par you got parachute and tissue. True. <laughs> but you got tissue. But I feel it's unfair on them. And I feel mm. like at least with a sock, they, they have, mm. at least my sperm thinks mm. it's going somewhere. <laughs> We're mad, bro. We're all mad. We're just like fuses and like We're all wires fucking mad, that. bro. Yeah. 100%. And uh, have, has there been a time where you've risked it for a cracker? So oh, does that, that means, um, has it been a time where you're at home and let's say you can see your mum watching TV and you think, okay, let me just do it quickly because she's not looking, <laughs> risking it. when you're So doing it where you're not I have, supposed to. I have, but not like, and did you get caught? And now one time, obviously. Every <laughs> <laughs> guest says one no, time. One time was, but that one time is really the 18th time. No, one What's time, the thing? One time it was, one time it was like, like, I think it was like 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. 2006, too early. That's too early. 2006. Too early. That's a godly day. Yeah, exactly. And my, I think my parents are making some sort of like lunch or dinner or something mm. when they were still together. And then I was like, "Fuck it, they're downstairs. Let me just laptop up." And the food was ready. The food came. I put it on the table. But I had my laptop in front of me. I had the, the movies playing. Mm. Adult movies. Mm -hmm. And then I released into air. But then I must have left the room, and my sister came in, and she saw the thing that was on the screen. Oh, wow. so I got a bit techie, but you got to be quick because if you hear the stairs, doom, 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 doom. you got to go, boom. Boom. you got to yeah. know your exit strategy. Yeah. 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 Brexit. But then obviously it was a bit weird that the food was there in front yeah. of me, but then straight and you can eat. So you can <laughs> release and efficient. then you can just, oh, you carry on. Yeah. That's sufficient. It's, it's, you're pleasing <laughs> your desires really like one by one, you know? But your sister's younger than you. So would you feel yeah. like she'll go and tell the parents straight away? Yeah, but I found the, my dad's porn stash. So it was calm. We've all done it, but we don't want to talk about it. Why no, are we? Talk about it's it. 2020. Like it's it. bum. Have you, you know ever, I mean? No, have you done this though? Have you ooh, ever ooh, ooh. looked at your bum hole? How? In the mirror. How? Over my shoulder? Nah, nah, nah. Cameras? How? You lean. I lean. And then you look back. Because mm. I want to see what my bum hole looks like one time. And then I just, I didn't like, I just, I spread my cheeks <laughs> and I looked at my bum hole. I tell you what, what that's creative. It, it was so interesting. Really? I was like, it was like you're meeting a friend for the first time. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, because you've had it forever. Because you've had this like friend, let's say you're, all right, cool. You had a link, yeah? Or someone that you were in love with on like Facebook or Instagram. Maybe Facebook is a bit more like retro or MSN. Mm. And you've always talked to this girl but, and she makes you feel good sometimes. But she gives you compliments, you can release. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. your bum hole. Yeah. But then you're like, let's meet up one day. It'll be nice to see you. And then one day she's randomly in your country and you meet up and you see her and you're like, oh, it's you. Like mm. all these times you even feel good. It was like that. Yeah, yeah. So I got into the mirror and I was like, this is gonna, I'm not gonna tell anyone apart from when I go and space podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just like leave. No rules. Come on. Back and I just spread the cheeks and you see it. And you're like, oh my God. You. It, yeah. Yeah, space. It's interesting because- I, You should all try it. I you guess from my perspective, it's a bit like mm. you see one. And I was alone more. and I was like, why don't I see my, cause I don't want to die mm. having not seen every part of my body. My daughter started her first day of gymnastics. Oh wow, that's beautiful. But I'm fuming. Why? I'm fuming because, mm. so I've been on the internet looking for gymnastics for three year olds. Mm. And it's very hard to find. I took her to this gymnastics class. There's only what, five kids in a class. Mm. So it was like five mats. So I'm fuming already. Mm. But don't get me wrong. The, 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 the teacher was a scenario. But we got up there and then my daughter, she's, we're late. So I'm fuming with her. I'm fuming like, you know, you're embarrassing me. I feel like when you're late to a class with your child, it makes it seem like your house is untidy. That's my, my thing. Jordan Peterson, yeah. Yeah, so we've walked in. I've got to change quickly. I've pulled out a bum line in front of all the other kids and stuff. Put her in a class. I sat down on the bench with all these you middle did. class parents. And she comes up to me. She goes in, walks on the bench doing traveling, comes to me and so says she needs to do a poo. Ah. Now, now Layla, <laughs> we're not going to do this now, are we? Because them stairs coming up here, I know there ain't no toilet up here. So I had to go back down those stairs, take her, 
do a poo, which took a good 25 minutes. Because oh, she's got this, she's long. teething now. So diarrhea galore. <laughs> what? Come up. And now they're doing forward rolls. And I'm thinking, I don't know if my daughter should do a forward roll. Because I don't know if I wiped her bum properly because I rushed. Uh, so everything is just going wrong. And I'm paying for this, guys. Yes. Good thing was the scenario was holding Layla's hand the whole time while she was doing gymnastics. Um, but it got better at the end, but I was a bit embarrassed the whole way through. But then I went home, you know, I was upset with Layla. So that made me watch Prince Harry. Okay. So I'm there sitting watching Prince Harry for three hours. I'm watching Prince Harry back to back. Just videos. Of Do you know that? Like, you know when you're watching something and you're, you're watching something, you're realizing. Hold on, mm. you're watching a documentary that came out in 1994, mm. where Pierce Morgan <laughs> yeah. looks like he's about 10 years old. But you're not even. You're just watching it back to back, and mm. I'm thinking to myself, on, on YouTube. This is on YouTube yesterday. Mm. So it's going back, back to back. I'm just watching Prince Harry, Prince William, Prince Harry, and mm. I realized, okay, Prince Charles is not even Prince Harry's dad. See, He's not, dad's James Hewitt. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me to come? So I'm not a royalist in any way. I know very little about the royal family, but in school and, and like since a kid, I've always loved that story that James Hewitt is in fact Prince Harry's dad. Have you seen this guy, Vooch? Who is James Hewitt? Okay. You need to see, when you see this guy, he looks exactly like Prince Harry. But is he actually his dad? It's hard to argue that he's so not. So was Diana doing a thing with him? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that he, she was definitely doing a thing with him, but the question is, does it overlap? Like, that's uh, ooh. that's him and that's him. Ooh. We asked for some questions, put this picture of- uh, I look kind of good there. Dressed as Putin, <laughs> Specs dressed as the wrestler's thing. I should go gym. We asked for some questions. Now, what I always say about the internet- Is a bit mad. Ask them to be funny. They will show you how unfunny they are. Ooh. So let's find out how unfunny they are. Arbaz says, favorite Serbian football player? Uh, Matej Kesman. Oh uh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Do you know what I liked about him? The haircut. Yeah, terrible. He had something about him. Mm. It doesn't end with an itch. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Kesman. <laughs> Kesman. Who's the Kesman? Kesman. Mm. Next question. Vuj, who do you think has the better back off, Specs or Stevo? Shaq said that. It's such a funny question. Village, have you seen my? You ain't seen my back off. I ain't bought my back I off. Think I've seen your spot. When? When did I bring up my back off I think online? Yours. I think I prefer your back off. But when did I bring my back I off? I think out? I saw you and Steve get your bums out and put it on like someone's face or something or hat. No, head. well they they yeah. Are you? <laughs> no, but they, you did the uh, catwalk. Remember? Yeah, yeah but I was wearing boxes off. though. What do you think of Arsenal FC being bought by a Nigerian billionaire? Asks. You yeah, heard about this, Dan Cote. I think that's great. Every five years, a Nigerian billionaire is linked to Arsenal. Mm. Nothing's happening. Nigerians are. Uh, well, well, I've got a bit of Nigerian in me. Nigerians are, what shall I say? Great people. Yeah, they're great people. Very influential. Very, very aggressive. <laughs> but aggressive? But, yeah, there was a, I had a few aunties, Nigerian aunties from, you know, the other side. Every time I went to the house, it always smelled of fish and fish wasn't being cooked. Finally, someone whose account name is Shemima Begum says, rate Shemima Begum's back off. You're getting a big reputation for the back offs. Yeah, I've calmed down with the back off stuff. Mm. Specs, I, I was overdoing it. Sometimes I find the joke funny and I just run with it too far. Because well, you off. don't realize how many times people are replaying it in their own heads. Yeah, you might only do the joke three times, but you did it three times on camera. Exactly. Mm. So they only know you for the back. And mm. I was like, I need to calm down with this. Um, anyway, um, what was the Shamina Begum's Begum, back off? Yeah. She was sitting down when she, when she was talking to me, so I, I didn't see. <laughs> but th that's the thing. I don't care about Shamina Begum's, Begum's back, off. back off. It's all about what you've experienced in life. And Chunks, Vuj, that's back off seriously. It's got a broken back off. He's got a broken back off, isn't it? Vuj, it just, it's straight. It's like I said, it's like the laptop's closed and he's just tried to run away with it. But let me just put it here so Sharky don't see me. But we spoke about that. So that, that in terms of Shamina Begum, I ain't seen her back off. Is she here or? Mm, the last no. time I spoke to her, I was on Gasworks. So <laughs> what, what's going on with her? She's not here, no. So why, why, is he, why is he still got her uh, face in that? I don't get it. Uh, it's an internet thing. You know what? I seize the potential with her back off. All right. Oh, you think he's there? What's I, your favorite back off? Do you like a, like a, I mean, a cushiony I, situation? Do you prefer a bit more like a, like a slim situation. I put back offs in the trash and cleared oh. the trash. I'm only on to scenarios and okay. situations. 
I don't care if the back is there or not. <laughs> you just like the scenario. I just, yeah, mm. when, I, when I look at you and you remind me of Emma Bunton. You like Emma Bunton in, in the early 90s, yeah. Oh, just like, okay, I, don't, okay. I don't care if your back off's in front of you. Mm. I heard, I, I heard a, com- a comedian say the other day, he said a joke, he said, um, uh, you don't ever see a GED reunion. Right. And What's everyone that? cracked up for like 10 minutes. Yeah. What is he talking about? So, so GED is <laughs> like- What's he talking about? It's a it's a form it's a form of further education that people without proper oh. primary and secondary education get. So it's like it's like learning a trade kind of thing. It's like going to uni, but for people that aren't that bright or people that weren't oh. successful in school. Well, I remember like uni, and even like I remember like it's all how you scheme it, though, isn't it? Like yeah. math, my maths, for example, maths are GCSEs, and I just copied my friend. From when I realized what? it in year three, mm. I could copy in year three because it's just numbers, it's easy to copy. And then I got into year 11. My strategy in year 11 was all right, where's Manoj sitting? And he was sitting close to me, and then I just copied him. That's racist. No, it's my boy, what's Manoj. What's his name, Manoj? That's what? racist. His name's Manoj. Not, that's my boy. All right, let, yeah, me, let me ask him. Let me ask you. Is he Albanian? Yeah. No. no, no. Oh, that sounds like an Albanian name, man. No, no. He's, uh, he's Indian. Yeah. He was but Indian. he's my boy, so his name is Manoj. How did it feel when you got the results, yeah? I was calm. And you I told was like, your mum. We succeeded. And you told your mum, mum, your mum saw open it letter and saw beat and gave you a hug. Yeah. And you and you you closed it with a hug. You look thinking, hmm. Mm, no, I told her, I was like, Mum, this <laughs> is manage. mine and manages. Oh, you told her? Yeah, man, even the coursework, the whole thing, I just copied it. I was scared in my school. They said if, if you ever if they see you peeping, they send you out. But it's like, Bullshit. It's like but, but Tigo, how do I improve my social media presence again? In what sense? What do you do? Respect? How do you become I don't know? How do you improve it? Just only, uh, I just think, f- just only talk about things you actually uh, enjoy. Mm. I think you box yourself into talking about things that you don't actually f- care about. Like people want you to be so passionately obsessed with Liverpool that oh, maybe you, you feel care. like you have to be. But I don't. But you don't. Because it's like fucking hell, being a football fan that really cares that much about a football team in 2020 is a bit, it's a bit over now. Football fans yeah. are ruining, ruining Twitter. I'm telling They're you They're ruining that. football. Yeah. We might as well get into uh, Remember Wrestling. Well, before we get to remember, I want, I want to give Vuj a gift. Oh, oh yeah, thank you, bro. You get We're me? all over the place. Ah, oh, thank you, bro. So I tried to be oh, serious. Thank you, bro. Basically, this is called. I'm hungry. Kupusta. Kupus. Konzona to You bought me some with carrot. Kupus. We could say we call it kupus in Serbian. I'm not Polish, but I respect the generalization. Uh, uh, USSR is USSR. Are uh, oh, you gonna you gonna have some now? Yeah, bro. Spe- is export Vuj some. Kupusta kwasona za marchevka sauerkraut of carrot. Pickled it's a Polish cabbage, thing. Sauerkraut, you see, the yeah. Polish brothers, they love a bit of pickled pickled stuff. Mm. Whereas Serbs, we're a bit more, we like the, we like it, but we're more grilled meat vibes. Mm. One second, one second. We're more influenced by the Turks. I, I didn't think you were going to eat it now. Yeah, I'm hungry. That's wires and stuff. That's too much information in there, man. It's cabbage. Cabbage? Mm. Oh, it's just cabbage? Mm-hmm. And carrot. Is there onions in there? No. No, carrot and cabbage. Do you want some? No, I'm all right, thanks. Nice. Sauerkraut. There was a con- continental aisle in Sainsbury's. Mm, yeah. 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 Banging yeah. out. Banging out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Top shelf. Check top shelf. Mm. P.S. Mm-hmm. Perry Sticks. Perry I'm not going to say from where, but <laughs> oh, God. Sainsbury's well done, man. Perry Sticks. Mm. You so know about Perry Sticks? I don't, you know what I do. Yeah, Perry Sticks. I think, I think they were made by Chris Perry, I think, you know, guys. Check, check out. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. No one's getting that joke. No one's getting that joke. <laughs> I have to be safe. This year, I am supporting East Africa. Well, Specs, you know what it's time for, Specs. Wrestling, remember me. Remember wrestling. No, yes. wrestling. Do you remember me? <laughs> Specs, what do you remember about Val Venus versus the Godfather on the 16th of April 2000 on Sunday night? Heat. I remember uh, Val Venus comes out first. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Music starts playing. Jazz. <laughs> Music that you hear when you're watching movies for men after 11 p.m. <laughs> Sex, but you can't see the wheelie going in. <laughs> <laughs> movies for men. You know about movies for men? I, yeah. I know it exists. Slow motion. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And there's always like a strawberry somewhere on someone's back sliding down. Hate, hate those scenes. Turns me off. So Val Venus comes on with a black towel. Now, big up Val Venus for black towels. I always say people, if you're dirty, always get a black towel. Because some of these people are dirty like Poet the other day. 
I was out with him and he come with a white towel and I'm like, bro, I can see brown patches on a white towel. You should have bought a black towel. <laughs> where were you when you had a white towel? Huh? We went swimming. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh my God! Could Just you use the showers, by the way, not to use the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen swimming. pirates piece many times. What? Yeah, many well, times. He's just shake it in front of me and stuff. He's circumcised. I think he is, you know. Apparently, if you're circumcised, it means who sent me the clip? <laughs> Why did these guys send me the clip? If you're circumcised, it means Cleo. No, ah, uh, so, was it you? Was it I s- did send you a clip. I if can't even, I don't even remember looking means at it, but I remember sending you the clip. You're gonna die. <laughs> that's what oh, it was. What? Yeah. So it was here. It means you're gonna die. If you're, yeah, if you're. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Huge if true. Yeah. Uh, it was a picture of a car, and on it says, <laughs> "Circumcising causes brain damage." Brain damage. Yeah. So Val Venus in the black towel. So speaking of brain damage, Val Venus. Walks down, goes to the ring. Uh, now, I forgot Val Venus takes off the towel and does, you know, you know the, the, the little whine. So obviously I'm watching my daughter because I forgot about that part. So I'm fuming Val Venus. Should have reminded me <laughs> he was going to swing around like that. But what I loved about Val Venus is when he comes out to movies for men, hmm. his theme song. Hmm. Situations stand up and they scream their heads off. Mm. So Val Venus was a it's situation like to the situations. True. Back in the day, mm. when you couldn't be cancelled for this. Yeah. So he's come out, he does his thing, takes the towel off, picks up the mic, starts off, hello ladies. The ladies scream. He's just talking to the ladies. He was the <laughs> only one that spoke to the ladies. Always wrestlers used to always come out, talk about other guys. Austin would talk about another guy that messed him up. Always Vince. It was always about guys, but Val Venus made it about the ladies. Mm. Val Venus says. He said, he's got a lot in common with a clock because if you put two hands on a face on it, he'll tell you exactly what time it is. I don't understand okay, what yeah, he means. I watched it. You made me watch it. And I wish you got a degree. It. What does it mean, Vooch? People with degrees aren't that smart. That's number one. They're probably the least smart people. Well, people without degrees don't know anything. <laughs> and I don't, I don't understand that joke, Vooch. I don't either. Is it, is, it, is it shoulder shaking? Or is it no. eating, out, eating out? Is it? No, it was, it was about, yeah, if you've got two hands and a face, I'll tell you what time it is. Basically, I'll bang anything is basically oh. what it means. What? And the clock, the clock has two hands and a face and it tells you what time it is. And I'm similar to that because if you've got two hands and a face, I'll tell you what time it is. And that's it. That's all he wanted to say to the ladies only. Yeah. But they He's didn't scream after that. So they didn't get the job. They didn't get it, did they? Neither did you. So Val Venus, that was a toe bomb because no one got it. <laughs> only you. And obviously Kurt Angle later on. So um, then Godfather comes out. Yeah. So the Godfather again was, when Godfather was the Godfather as the pimp. What was his name? Godfather, right? Yep. And he was Godfather in Nation Domination. No, he was... He was Karma Mustafa. So I, I remember him as Karma Mustafa from the Nation Domination. And Papa Shango. Yeah, and Papa Shango. Now he's the Godfather as this pimp. He comes out with five situations. Uh, he comes out, he's meant to be this pimp, so he comes out. And what I like about him is every situation, uh, well, sorry, it wasn't every situation, it was a four-eye situation. <laughs> there was a, a, a scenario and there was these... Um, there was a screenplay. Yeah, there was these, I don't know, these... And it was a premiere. Is it Prince William situation? Mm. Yeah, kind of, yeah. It was a Prince William there. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. yeah. So there was a Prince Willica. Prince Harry. Uh, Harry? Prince Harry. Prince Harry, rather. Pre- sorry, William. Prince Harry. It was Harry. A, there, there was a Prince, there was a bull patch. I think the four eyes one. <laughs> and then there was a Prince Harry. So what I liked about Godfather, Godfather, you know, he kind of intro them all in the ring. He kind of like guide them all in the ring one by one, help them go, in, get, go into the ring. Time was passing. So basically, uh, Godfather and uh, Val Venus started wrestling now. Uh, it was a no, good match. No, no, so, so Godfather grabbed the mic. Oh yeah, he grabbed the mic. And I didn't understand anything he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said he said it's time to come aboard the whole train. And he told Val Venus, I, I wish we didn't have to wrestle. I'd love to give you these girls. But basically, your dick's too big and you'd mess them up and I don't want you to mess up my hose. That's what he said in other words. Yeah. 
He said, you're going to mess them up. So we're going to have to wrestle. Right. Once again, the crowd didn't make no sound to that. So which no, means yeah, they didn't the, understand. the reaction, it wasn't, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then the next, uh, yep, they're in the ring, they're wrestling, it's a good match, nice and fast. Um, and then all of a sudden, Kurt Angle just walks out. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt Angle seems like he was cool. Yeah, he seemed like he was serious. Like he didn't have time for all this lady stuff at the time, right? Mm, yeah. mm, 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 so he comes out, he slays the arena, slays the fans, of course. He says, it's uh, yeah, it's dirty. And it needs to be cleansed. He's getting booed. And he said, oh, it's true. It's yeah. true. Love that part. Walks out, Vooge. And he... Um, he has a rhyme. Yeah. So he says something about uh, shoulder shaking. He did. So he had a rhyme he... about shoulder shaking. So what was it? He said, don't be like these two dopes with your head in the sand. When it comes to relations, use your own hand. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's a shoulder shaker's... So basically, all those women, get rid of them. You've got your hands, forget them. That's what you were saying. Yeah, I think he was talking more to men, but yeah. Could you do that now in wrestling? I doubt it. But then again, we're very, you know, mm. masturbation's, shoulder shaking's a big... Yeah, it's, yes. It's PSE. It's a legendary. Personal social education. So I remember... She's paying. He, 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 slayed, he slayed the five girls, didn't he? He said, again, you couldn't do that. He says, you couldn't you, talk to me like that. You call yourselves Yeah, that was a like madness. You Look can't at do the that. way you're dressed. I can't lie, you made me watch it and I was like, it made me laugh still. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> how can, yeah, things were different back in them days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 2000. Doesn't feel like that long ago. That's yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, there was no woke people around. No, everyone yeah. was just getting on with it. But you know what I like the most? The fact that Val Venus and Godfather thought, you know what? We've got situations here. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Let's beat this guy up. They teamed up, mm. beat him up, and shared the girls afterwards. <laughs> yeah. I went to have a situation. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw that, oh, I just couldn't believe it. That's amazing. That's, that's so real good. movies for men. That's real Story movies line. for men. You know, that's how movies for men ends. They gave mm. up on the match. Bro, mm. like, it's iconic, that shit. Mm. But now, probably be something else. Like. Oh yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why, uh, when Poet says that I'm uh, in, uh, in love with nostalgia, mm. that is you me. Are. Yeah, I'm, So am I, bro. Huh? So nostalgia, yeah? Nostalgia. Come on, man, Bluetooth. Oh. Mm. <laughs> cool, let's, let's, let's go back to the past, man. because no, nostalgia, mm. nah, I'm very nostalgic. Because like, obviously I'm from a place which doesn't exist anymore. Mm. I'm from a, I never had a passport to my own country. Mm. So like, naturally you're going to be a bit more nostalgic. Mm. You know what I mean? 1991, Champions League winners, Red Star. You know what I'm saying? Was Euro it? 2000. Oh yeah, there was, yeah, yeah. Milosevic, not the mm. war guy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's banging. And then now it's like... Savo Milosevic. Yeah, Savo. Legend. Yeah. And now it's just corruption in that. And woke people. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it was better back in... I'm not saying it was better, but it was kind of better. But my worry was... Yeah, go on. The kids. There's mm. kids in the arena. Yeah. Um. So, what are we saying now? <laughs> <laughs> because my, if I took my daughter to WWE yesterday, for example, let's just say it was back in the day and Val Venus and Goodfather doing these kind of things with um, Kurt Angle and he's doing these rhymes about sex, women. Mm. I've got my I've got my three-year-old daughter here. What's, no rules, or maybe five, six. No it's rules. really no rules. No. So sex was like... Because like then those kids, mm. probably half of them, especially in that country, mm. but you go back home and you think the functional families are functional. Mm. Yeah, long, long days, long gone are the days of refrigerators and cars, bro. Mm. People mm. realise that you can't buy happiness with fridges and cars. In 2000, before 9-11 though, fridges and cars were getting it done. Big thing, in it? In America, mm. yeah. And 9-11 happened and bare fridges died. Not yeah. our fridges went down. A, a chicken in every oven, right? Teddy Roosevelt? I feel like maybe, maybe back then days, it was just more simple times, isn't it? Mm. Marbles, yo-yos. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. Marbles. I, I never understood marbles and drains. I didn't understand no, that I've game. Never, I've never I played, played marbles. I'm, when I won, marbles, I, was like, what? I didn't understand. You changed the marbles, innit? <laughs> Huh? No, on the drain. How do you win? What happens? You go into the drain. In the drain? You I'm can't sorry, go in Serbia, the drain. In Serbia, we train to mm. become plumbers. With the marbles on the drain? Yeah, and you go and you fix and you find the, the marbles. Is that how you win? Because I didn't and put my... to the UK and become a plumber. Okay. So we do. Well, I won. So I've got experience there. But Pogs. Yeah. Huh? Pogs. 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 No, the best thing was Pogs. money ups. Pogs money ups. Money ups was banging, yeah. Money ups is a banging game. We should do 
I'm gonna say I'm, like, the, I'm the originator of this idea. When we do next football content with footballer, we should do money ups. Yeah, that's good. Right, question: Did you? They did won't you, let you because of gambling. Gambling. Isn't it? Yeah. What was the word we used to say? Oh, which no, when you couldn't keep the coin. True. What, what oh. words? What word did we? When in money up? What word? You remember sometimes people used to throw the coin and it, it would go halfway and they'll try and kick it, but you have to say something to make sure they, they're not allowed to kick it. What was that again? I don't remember. Nah, that. nah, some cheating bullshit. You did mad. you not say lard? Did you not use the word lard? Lardy, lardy. It's what? Lardy. That means you, 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 you play polo. You that, play means, polo that, means, that means you're last. Lard. Lardy. It's not lardy. It's a cockney. It's a cockney. And I'm from Islet and it's lard. Yeah, what the hell is lardy? We said lardy. And, um, lardy you, sounds like um, pr- 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 Prince Harry and Prince William's nan. Nan. Yeah, uh, uh, what was her name? Uh, Tuko. Tuko. I can't remember her name. I'll find it though. Lardy. Did you say lardy one? What was her name? 2-2 two, two or something like that. Huh? Did you say Lardy 1? You know what? I'm no, sorry Lard. to the people if you can hear me eating mm. the cabbage. I do apologise. Yeah, yeah. So I'm with you. Eat it. People mm. have problems with hearing people eat. Uh, Lardy, Lardy 1. annoying, isn't it? Lardy, Lardy 1 was a way of saying Lardy meant I'm, I'm last. Mm. Lardy 1 meant second last. Lardy mm. 2, Lardy 3. Mm. Kids are dumb. Kids are so and dumb. And if it rolled, I mean, you, you have to do it again, right? It, no, it could roll after it. It yeah. has to go past halfway point mm. when you throw it. But it could roll after and that. And what happens if there's two tight? What do you used to say when there was two tight together? It's just flick together and heads and tails. Who would flick it together? If it's t- we flick them both. So what did we used to do? It's cabbage just banging, bro. Fucking. I can't remember. Yeah, we used to just play hide and seek. I used to play this game called hide and seek shag. That's what I was. I, 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 me- I remember this game. Right. In the, I remember. You used to play it? <laughs> no, but I remember you put this game in the group and I was busting up. So hide and seek shag. Yeah, so what we right. do is... You and your boy? No, no it's not two oh. of us. That would have been a bit... You know, oh, with girls? Intimate. No, no, guys. Mm. So there's like eight of us <laughs> okay. in my boy's yard. And then basically, <laughs> when you find someone, you've got to hump them. Oh, with clothes on? Yeah. And then eventually, we we there's obviously one or two guys yeah. that hated getting humped. And we'd like, we'd all like, be like, all right, cool. Let's find him. And then we go find him and we all run train on him. So you made a gate. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I they made a game for just two guys. <laughs> nah, not just two guys, bro. <laughs> yeah, let me just find it. Let me just try, let me just find it. Let me try to find a group so you know it's real. Man, managers in it as well. Do you do it, Peter? Look at it. I don't think I do. Look, this, oh, this, this look, is what, our, look what the picture this is. This is a picture of our group. Is that your profile pic? No, no, no. That's <laughs> the group That's profile the group. So basically. Mm. And then like the guy that used to hate getting humped, mm. we'd, like, we'd all would, like team up and be like, all right. And then we'd find him and we'd just hump him. So I told you, bro, I could have, I definitely think I have it in me. <laughs> <laughs> and he hated it. He'd be like, no, get off. And we'd be like, nope. <laughs> and then we'd just- Battery. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, man. Hey. That yeah. poor hey. guy. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> 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 Tiga, you play later. <laughs> no. We should play after. But really and truly, I used mm. to go on Wikipedia mm. at like 14 and mm. just look at conspiracy theories. Mm. I used to play hide and shag. Mm. It's a great game, bro. You, oh, so you own this game? I own the game, yeah. You need to go and have a word with the side man and just go, look, lads. Hide idea. and shag, let's play it. That would bang online. Yeah, it would. Mm. In many ways. That would be viral. So, 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 just a quick question. So now, if you caught me, yeah. Uh, like say I'm hi- let's just say I'm hiding in the ceiling, like, you. making sure that no one catches me. Yeah, and you find me. How do you get on the ceiling and try and? <laughs> I, how does it work? Because obviously I'm 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 lying that way. <laughs> so how do you get? How does it work? Mm. Do you climb up and? Yeah, I think so. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And could could I block? You or can could try. I reverse it? Or when, no? You can try, but then if, is it just? It's just oh, because there's so it's basically seven on one. Kind of can be yeah. A lot of the time it was. This is force. This is brutality. <laughs> it's police brutality. You're, so you're gonna hold? No. Nah, I mean, you can't not play. You can't play the game and get. Like, you go into the game, it with consent. Yeah. You know you're gonna get either harmed or not. So Fabio thought he could play it without. Yeah, he thought he didn't but get he would do it. So he didn't know to, to him, but he would do it to them. He will do it sometimes. Yeah. And then obviously me, Manoj, and um, my guy Michael get involved, bro. And how long does it go on for? Not too long, like a 10 second thing, and you just move on to the next round. Mm. But if, if the guy is really against it, you carry on. Where did you play it? Because I was, I was at hide and seek after a certain In my point. friend's yard. <laughs> you run out of places. How yeah. big is yours? Nah, I mean, you get bored pretty quick, so then you start playing Pro Evolution. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. after like two rounds, I like, should we play Pro Evolution. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
I needed bang for Eva. I love it. You start there. Tigo, you pose there. Tigo, my imagination saw me. You play, just saw me. You, showed you playing it. Yeah, I just had a. I don't know. I could just see guys coming to you, and you say, "Look, I don't want to play no more." But you can't get out. So now you're fighting for about ten minutes, but you get tired, and then you lose, and then it does you. <laughs> 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 Tigo getting high and shagged. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not playing. Tigo tried to say, he doesn't want to play no more. <laughs> Don't touch me. He started throwing punches. <laughs> Everyone's blocking. <laughs> and then we waited until he got tired. And then, yeah, he started to slow down. The punches were from here. From there. <laughs> 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 he's going to back. He's going to be behind. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Yo, this when we get in a group tonight, we're bringing this up. I'm telling you. That, I've tried those jokes. No one cares in the no, group. No, I care. Trust I know, me. but it's the lonely place when you have I these care. kind of jokes. I care. Specs. You know, I think when you're a young man, just experimenting. I, was, I, I like to experiment, innit? and and I, invent games. I got it all out of my system, and then I realized when I got girls, I was like, right, this is decent. So I never went back to hide and shag. All right, out of ten, Godfather versus Val Venus on Heat. What do you that What do you was, give it? That was a ten, man. That was, was a, a ten. I don't even watch wrestling, but that was. A I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a ten because they took me back to movies for men. <laughs> and again, I don't know if you guys have watched movies for men. Uh-huh. About sixteen adverts. Mm, <laughs> every minute advert, every minute advert, and the film was always about love. So um, yeah, movies for men after twelve. Yeah, um, I'm going to give it a ten. What a show this is. Well, now we're just going to do a quick uh, few mm. No Rules News. I feel like these were purposely selected for David Vujanic, mm. such as mm. this one from Sport Fuse. Bible. This is interesting. Watch this. Tyson Fury says he's masturbating seven times a day to prepare for Deontay Wilder fight. <laughs> I think he's trolling. He, everybody when is says he? That someone's, everybody says in it that you shouldn't release, isn't it? Before a fight. So I think he's just saying, I'm just going to say I bash seven times a a day. Well, he said, I'm doing a lot of things I didn't before. I'm eating five, six meals a day. I'm drinking eight liters of water a day. I don't know if any of that even matters on the night. It didn't matter before, but if it's going to give me an edge on winning this fight, then I'm willing to try it. Why not? I'm masturbating seven times a day to keep my testosterone pumping. Got to be active. Testosterone flowing. Don't want he's the funny. levels to go down. He's at us. He's hide and shag. Yes. You would have played hide and shag, definitely. <laughs> All right, so now Tyson Fury played hide and shag. Oh. And he says, he does a T goal. Yeah. Guys, I don't want to play no more. And Ooh, puts his fist up. Like, yeah, what do we do now? You stop, you stop. You're going to play a pro evolution. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this next headline comes from the Metro. Okay, shit paper. Meth user fights off 15 police officers while masturbating in bar. That is amazing, bro. <laughs> he's bashing. Right. Yeah. And he's okay. That is so. That is hiding the shadows. Like, try and bash, <laughs> yeah, and fight. Go on. No, I can't. I can't. That's like it's hard, isn't it? It's like tapping uh, on. Yeah, yeah, bro. Well, shoulder shaking. Oh with my your god, that's a sick idea. Well, anyway, mm. bash and beef. <laughs> Why is that a sick idea? <laughs> because you could bash and then try and fight someone. You both we- have to bash. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you're in a ring. I'm, you know, I'm never going to no. question it. This is the but man you're in who invented ring, hide naked. and shag. You're in so. a ring naked. Passion beef. Maybe you're in a ring naked. Mm. You're bashing. Mm. You're trying to get, and there's like porn playing on the screens. Mm. Okay, but if you, and if it turns off and you're still hard, it's, it's mad. <laughs> and then you could just beef and you're bashing. Bam, 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 bam. Kicks and as think, well. Some kicks. I don't know. No, no. And you can kick as well, mm. but you win mm. if you bash onto the guy and it lands, <laughs> you win straight away. So that's two ways to win. So there's going to be a ref. There's two ways to win. Knock so you can out, hit the ref. Knock out or, knock out or, or, or landing. Or yeah. landing. 1917. Well, in Oregon, a man high on meth fought 15 police officers after allegedly refusing to stop I publicly masturbating in a bar. Andrew Frey, 37, mm. who, if you're 37 high on meth, masturbating in a bar, something's probably gone badly wrong in mm. your life. Mm-hmm. He exposed himself to a bartender at Iggy's Bar and Grill. Okay. You know Iggy's. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, on December 22nd, before he began pleasuring himself, according to the police. He then moved to the bathroom where he continued his inappropriate behavior before police were called to the scene. It's because he was watching MOTDX. <laughs> 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 I realised I've done mm. some weird things mm. the more yeah. I step back on it yeah, let it out man the this is the rules I was in my room mm. 
my boys. I said, you guys should. <laughs> <laughs> this is no rules. Bring it out, man. Oh. I said, you guys should should be like me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I said, basically, <laughs> I said, you guys should hunt and I'll film you. <laughs> <laughs> but with clothes on. <laughs> I was trying to, be, I was trying to be a director. You, you're it? a cloud chaser. Yeah, and then basically, and he, they were like, nah, don't order. I was like, nah, do it, do it. <laughs> and they were like, nah. I was like, nah, just do it for Bance. And they did it. I, thought, yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that story to end that way. Against the radiator as well. What? I, I made it scenic. <laughs> but I realised, then I realised, I think, now nah, I realise, I've always had something wrong with me a little bit. Sounds like it, yeah, but you have a power over people. Well, no, I think it was, it's a bit psychopathic, whatever, but I think it's because I just discovered porn. I think it's just, it was that time and <laughs> age where you just discover porn, so your mind is bare fresh to the start, <gasps> and you're just discovering you, you have a boner and a penis and all this so stuff. You, you, and you got all these images in your head, and you see your boys, and I'm like, well, there's no girls around because we're all on Wikipedia all day and playing Pro Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you, man, I've seen these people do it on screen. If you do it, I'll just film you. And I don't know why. I, I like that. And I, del- I was like, I didn't even, I deleted it. I, I like, like your friends. Your friends don't know how to refuse. No, yeah, your friends are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't have to refuse. I think yeah, it's because, I think because they're slightly into that kind of stuff as well. They were. Because it wasn't just me. Obviously, I'll come up with the idea. Mm. But if I'm like, yo, guys in here, let's mm. do Kyle and Shag. Mm. They're all like, nah, well, I'm not, we're not going to do it, <laughs> are we? Well, I'm, I'm old now. But if I'm like, so yo, I, I can't get up with feelings like, yo, and man, stuff Can we do hide and Shag? <laughs> Can we do hide and shine? Yeah. And they're all like, yeah, let's do it. I'll be like, yeah, sick. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 well, yeah. And then we play Pro Evolution after. What, would you do, wait, hold on one second. Match would you play hide and shine now? No. Oh, yeah, cool. Because I've got the agility. It's dead, bro. <laughs> no, I'm over it now. <laughs> where, where am I going to hide? <laughs> Behind the mic. No, I'm saying like, mm. I had my strange phase. Mm. Oh, where you're just discovering you have a penis and you're discovering porn. But now I'm on this like quitting porn thing, not trying to really bash, mm. not trying to just hide and shag, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm Maybe go the other way. Maybe start hide and shag. That porn. is... No, and I think, you should make t-shirts saying hide and shag. For sure, I was a bit demented. But I think that's what happens when you just discover porn too early, bro. And it's hardcore stuff. I mean, so it's not good for you, bro. Mm. No, I kid, mo- kids, mo- kids, mo- kids, good luck, kids, man. It's bad for kids, bro. Good luck. Do you, know what I mean? so you can see this is the effect, kids. If you get into porn, what you can end up doing. Yeah, you can end up playing hide and shag. I was trying to direct my own boys and bash and beef. <laughs> I was trying to direct porn movies with my boys. Yeah. And there's no girls around. Yeah. All right, while you do that, I'm just going to move on to our last No Rules news story. Oh, wait, guys, did you remember? Do you remember when <laughs> we used to do hide and shag? And so, so and Michael, do you remember when um, I filmed you guys humping next to the radiator? Yeah. Anyway, voice, I love you guys. Voice note we, replies, please. Sorry, I'm just voice noting at, uh, at my boy Shaw. I hope you don't mind. I was telling him how we used to do all these things. But yeah, hope you're all good, man. <laughs> I love and yeah, say hi to your families and that, yeah. Shout out Saul, man. Anyone called Saul is definitely, does, it doesn't refuse. 100%. <laughs> our next story, our final story comes from the Daily Star. And it's a, it's a shift of gears, but I really want your take on it. Mm-hmm. Terrified residents flee homes as crazed gang of 400 monkeys raided village. Monkeys from the Indian village of Narasapuram have been terrorizing residents, raiding homes and stealing food, leading many to be forced to flee. These are just regular little monkeys. Where's this? What country? India. Okay. Uh, out of control population of over 400 monkeys have taken over homes. Yeah. <laughs> As desperate locals fight a losing battle against the primates in a Planet of Apes <laughs> style saga. So wait, the, the monkeys are beefing each other. No, they're beefing the humans. It's not the first time. Them? Oh, they're in be- India. Oh, okay, they've oh. they've taken over a, na- a village. Four hundred monkeys have forced people to run That's away. Sick. They should do. Um, they should play kabaddi. Set set a little game of kabaddi. What's, what's that kabaddi? You might not know about kabaddi. You no. might not international. You're no, not big on games, bro. You might need to play kabaddi. What's yeah. kabaddi? Kabaddi is when there's like two teams, mm-hmm. and you have to say kabaddi, 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 and you have to t- like tap each other. And if you tap him, but while saying it, he's out, and you keep going to the last man standing. What? Yeah, and they mainly play it in in the Asian countries. Yeah. But I think it's yeah India. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my research. All my brothers, game. Pakistani brothers, and that, Tari Manigan and that. Boom. Kabaddi, you play Kabaddi. You learn something new all the time, man. I've never yeah, but I'm international, bro. Obviously, like I'm saying, mm. international gang, isn't it? Majid. So you keep saying, so you keep touching, say Kabaddi, Kabaddi, Kabaddi. Kabaddi, Kabaddi, Kabaddi. It's like hide and shag, but without the shagging. But there's a okay, lot of okay, touching. Okay. There's touching, yeah. There's touching, and you touch someone, you tap them, and then they. Well, running. that's what the monkeys are doing right now. And the monkeys are coming in saying Kabaddi, so they, they, Kabaddi, Kabaddi, and trying over, to take like, over, bro. They're taking over the Kabaddi. Yeah. That's fucked, fam. 
Oh, well, I mean, I've, I've, I do have one more. Go on, one more. Let's do one more, man. Let's see it's what we got. Yeah. Be, yeah. Let's see what we got. Well, I'll, I'll do this one because I really do want you to take. This is Daily Star again. Uh, of course. We only go for the best publications. Of course. Man visits the doctor after mosquito bite left him with an eggshell testicle. Eggshell testicle. Like, so like got, give me a surprise. His testicle is hard. His eggshell, after an infection from flarial worms... You see these papers, bruv? They're really bad, isn't it? <laughs> you keep bringing these testicle ones, making my dick feel funny again, man. Yeah, you know what? I don't like this because this reminds me of when I used to film my boys at the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you do like to be reminded of. Like when I was like, when I was obviously going through my daily star phase, that's what I used to do, isn't it? And then obviously I, I expanded my horizons, isn't it? Well, well, the, this uh, he assumed that the symptoms of this illness were the result UTI. of a urinary tract infection, yep. Yeah. But doctors found out that one of his testicles had actually calcified uh, with an eggshell forming around it. So his third eye calcified <sighs> and then just... That's what they say though. That's what the, the people say. Yeah, If you, if you mm -hmm. yeah, drink tap water mm -hmm. and you fluoride, it freezes your third eye and it makes you very unwoke. And that affects your ball, your your ball bags. Yeah, it affects everything. It makes you very. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very worried about my ball bags. I think that's the most. Are you? Do you ever touch them? I do. Of course, I love the way it feels. Like yours, it feel, I like the way it feels. It feels almost a bit. I went, I went to the doctor once, mm. and I um, because mine's are a bit like they've got a lot of stuff coming from them, mm. and I was like, this doesn't feel right. I was mm. like, maybe this is some sort of like cancer thing or mm. something. So I went to the doctor, and he was a guy, and he was just like. He was like, no, that's okay. He was like, you've just got loads of some oh, sort of... He touches something. it. For you. He touches yeah, he touches it and he like caresses it. And then I was he's thinking like, I need to go to the doctors and have that, but I just really don't want it. Yeah, nice, no, weird. One time uh, when, I got, um, when I got an STI um, and I went to take your blood and everything to test what you have, um, I fainted because I don't like needles. Same as me? I fa I hate needles. Mm. Bro. I fainted twice when I, when I went to the STI clinic. And then one time it was a male nurse and um, he woke me up. I'm happy that we got uh, Vooj breaking ground with sh hide and shag. I think we broke ground here today. Yeah, because it's it's all the stuff you want. I think Vooj's core fan base are going to be so happy that him doing Vooj stuff that again. You're doing hide and shag. I think this is Vooj stuff. Yeah, mm, people miss Vooj stuff. Mm. And then sometimes I'm not delivering them that anymore. And then what you give them is what you give them. But you can't it's always, I'm saying you change yeah. as a human yeah, it's being. Up to you. It's up, it, and it's up to you. But now today was a very rude show. It was very, it was very enjoyable. I'm trying to think of any more weird things that I've done in my life. Yeah, there definitely are. There, yeah. I think sleeping with a stripper was one. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't pay, she was on it. Mm -hmm. There's been it's a couple good, like yeah. moments where like, it's like, what am I doing? What's happening here? Mm -hmm. I remember you know once uh, being at a Red Bull party after Red Bull Culture Clash yeah. with Vooj. And he saw this girl, the girl was really nice. And he just, he, he, he worked hard, got it done, got the number, everything else. But 10 minutes later, we're downstairs and yeah, Frisco's taken her. And it's yeah, just like- it's, it's, it's buying her a drink, it was sad. Do you remember uh, who came? I remember her. Do you remember who came in a boxing robe that day and stood and had a chat really? with us after? <laughs> yeah. He had a blue boxing robe on. Right at the beginning well, of his career. Here. One time yeah. Skepta was, I was at studio and he drove past and he said, yo, do you need a lift home? I love this. And I was like, nah, I've got an Uber. And my Uber came and I went home. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. Why did you get in? I don't know. I was just like, I've got an Uber in it. Like, it was on the way. It's so organic. You didn't care that it was yeah, skipped I was like, oh, thank you. And bro. he's got tints. Yeah, yeah, tints. And I just got an Uber and I went home. There's been weird stories like that where I'm like, oh, at that time I was at the Banj video shoot. The bunch. And then oh yeah, Kanye yeah. walks past, and I was like, oh, I didn't know who Pusha T was or Big Sean, mm. and they were just there like having an interview, and I was like, and I went upstairs, and I was like, Oliva, I yes. remember that man. And then Kanye walked by, and some girl was there who was like, who was into him, but then he just wouldn't talk to her, and then she just came to talk to him, and then I was like, this is weird. She was paying though, and then that was that was it. That was the time with Amber Rose and that, and then that was weird. There's been moments, and then randomly one time I was at Skepta's yard, and he was recording Shutdown. He's yeah, finishing yeah. shutdown. He'd just been in the studio with Kanye. Did you like, ever know that that was going to be a banger? I was there with Dan, my boy Dan, and I was like, yo, what's up, man? How's it going? And then I, I didn't say hi to the man at the back by accident. And then one guy got really angry at me. What? And he was like, when you come say hi, I'm like, well, that's a violation. And I was like, I don't know. Because I had a drink in it. And then I had a drink, and my boy poured me a drink that I was with. And I was like, I don't know, man. My boy just poured me a drink. I just, 
I'm sorry, man. Like, do you want me to get you a drink or something? Like, and then I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it. Do you know what I mean? Because you were far in the room, innit? Like a big room. Mm. They're like, it's like a joint room, kitchen, and that. And then they were far, and obviously they were just doing their thing. But People sensitive, man. I was like, I'm sorry, man. I just didn't know, innit? And then that was it. So I had some quite interesting stories, like, mm. where I'm like, why am I here? But then I just ended up being there. And I've been in these situations where I'm like, this is so interesting. Dude, you don't care, man. That's what I like about you. Just, he doesn't care. Or, really. or he cares too much. Or I care too much. One of them. I mean, maybe both. I don't care so much, but I care too much. No rules show, people. No, no, what? This is completely no rules, man. Cabbage. No rules, shag, people, man. Yes, Bums. If you want to play hide and sh- shag, go hey. for it. Hey.